today at Blade Ops, we are checking out two of the greatest out the front models to ever be made. One of the biggest questions we get asked is, what's the better out the front to go with? And honestly, you can't go wrong with either one. So today we're going to dive into kind of taking a look at a little bit of the history and uh, mechanism and differences between the two. So starting off, we've got the Microtech Ultratech, which is Microtech's baby. This is their, their flagship, their main knife. It's just built to perfection. It's gone about three different generations. Um, they've done one with kind of a more squared handle as well as a, a tri-grip one that had kind of like the little triangles all throughout the handle. And now to the newest generation of the Contour. And Microtech is known for their super nice tolerances. Very little uh, blade play. Out the fronts, as you know, will always have uh, a small amount of blade play just kind of due to to the design, but Microtech tends to have the least amount. Their switch is pretty aggressive. It's a little bit more stiff than most, but I think that's kind of plays in the factor of, of having that really nice lockup. The Ultratech, with how popular it's been, they've done two different sizes, the UTX-85 and the UTX-70, which are, of course, standing for 85% the size and 70% the size. So this one is definitely one of the best out, out the fronts for sure. But that's not to talk bad on the Benchmade. Benchmade, this is the Phaeton. Their newest generation, because this was actually taken from uh, when uh, Benchmade did uh, their H&K line. Uh, it was called uh, the Tumult and the Turmoil. And it was one of the most popular out the fronts you could get. Incredibly well built. And the difference on this one versus the Microtech is it does tend to have a little bit more blade play. But a much, much smoother switch. And I think with that smoother switch, they... Pretty much uh, to where it'll have the, the the more blade play is it's actually not quite as touchy. It's almost a little bit more consistent with the firing because honestly, for as long as I've been here, I've almost, I've seen maybe, maybe one or two of these ever fail. So they are amazing. They're, they're like I said, two of the best out the front so you can get it on the market. You're not going to go wrong with either one. Another difference is Microtech does use a little bit higher premium steel. But Benchmade sticks to a very tactical design as well. Just really nice knives all around. You're not going to go wrong. This one, I'm, I, I like the action. I love the consistency on the firing. Very simplistic design. They know what works. Especially if it survived three generations. But, of course, as both are covered under a limited lifetime warranty, uh, Benchmade tends to, to have one of the most well-known warranties. They'll work with you in pretty much everything. Microtech, just as well. I've sent my uh, 85 back before. And they do an awesome job of resharpening. Uh, changing out any any springs, screws, anything like that. So, I hope that helps on your next decision of an OTF because these are the best of the best. So make sure to get your new automatic out the front today at Blade Ops.